Hello, this is going to be a short video detailing the drum transform glitch, as I like to call it in Graffiti Kingdom, uh, that I use multiple times in my speedruns, and I think it really helps out with uh, saving time. And the reason why I'm making a video about it is because although Manuel speedruns previously covered this video and his four-year-old Graffiti Kingdom runs are still on YouTube, I feel like the way he covered it, uh, he gave some really inconsistent strategies and I found better ways to pull it off. Uh, more easily when I play. So you're going to want to have two characters with high jump on and you're going to want to get to a place in the game where this will be useful. Like here, if I just go the normal way around, uh, it won't save, m like it'll just be, you know, be kind of slow. So what I'd rather do is that I'd rather uh, get up to the top of this cliff uh, just by jumping and transforming in the air. It's a pretty specific timing. Uh... So I think the best way to do it is to uh, wait for a certain audio cue and press the button twice rhythmically in order to uh, get it. Instead of mashing, which is the way that Manyo suggested. So here's the way I do it. So uh, what I did, basically, was that every single time the uh, the sound bite like uh, like reached its peak and then uh, ended like at those two points I pressed the X button and I feel like that gives me a good rhythm to uh, like jump like at the same time as the uh, you know newly transformed character is coming out which leads me to be able to uh, jump in the air when I otherwise you know shouldn't be able to because there's no double jump in this game. Uh, and this helps out here at the beginning of the lava pit, uh, just after the Carlton fight. I can show it off again, uh, this time highlighting where I press my buttons. So at the peak of my jump, I transform. And at the, uh, and at the peak, and like at the height of the sound, uh, I press the button, and at the end of the sound, I also press the button. It takes a bit of practice. And here's the thing, sometimes the uh, animation for the transform will lag. It's not consistent. So at those points, uh, you could try to go for it, but I would usually recommend just uh, like transforming again into uh, the Rainbow Bear, because the Rainbow Bear's transformation doesn't lag. Like that. That's how you want to optimally do it. It's, it's pretty weird to describe, but uh, once you understand the rhythm to it and you practice it a bit, it's not that difficult. So, there are multiple parts in the run where this is useful, and this would be the first of them. Uh, and now I'll, I'll cut the video and I'll show you other parts of the run where I think this is a useful glitch. Here's the second room where I think the jump transform glitch is really useful. It's uh, the room just after the Fyrena and Icena. Uh, and where it's useful is that we want to jump over here to this heart, and then we want to jump over here, and now we do the glitch. And we're up here, we go through this exit, and we effectively just skipped, like, several rooms of the game. Like, we no longer have to worry about them. We hit this switch, and uh, this will take us up to the platform with the uh, dung beetle, if I recall correctly. But it saves a lot of time if you get this down. When you get really good at the jump transform glitch, here's a good room uh, where you can use it as like an optimization. So when you enter the room, what you want to do is you want to go up to the waterfall and then use the jump transform glitch to jump up there without taking the moving platform. Now it won't always save time if you aren't super consistent with it, but I feel like uh, it's worth going for. Like. Just like that. Here's another room where the jump transform glitch might be useful. So let's say you uh, you don't get the, the skip here, right? And you land down here, or even worse, on the floor. Well, what you can do is use the jump transform glitch and get yourself back to where you're supposed to be. This is a really good backup. Uh, and definitely saves more time than just doing the walk of shame right back to where you 
would have gone if you did if you actually got the skip first try. After the three colored rooms in the Beast of the Lost Sea, you'll enter this room. And uh, we can skip at least a few rooms, or uh, a few areas in this uh, in this stage by doing the Jump Transform glitch right here. See, I hesitated when I came in, so I got attacked, so let's try this again. <laughs> There we go, and that will bring us uh, directly to the uh, third tablet challenge. Another place where the jump transform glitch might be useful, not even just in the context of speedruns, but in general, is to get cards uh, where you otherwise wouldn't be able to reach them without already having learned fly before getting fly. So for example, there is a card here called Flying Maiden. Uh, and it's way up towards the ceiling, and I can't get there. But with a jump transform glitch, I got the card. So uh, this could be useful in a run like uh, no custom characters, uh, if you want a character who's flying, or if you want to just grab a card that seems out of reach. Last but not least, the Jump Transform glitch can really help out during the uh, final fight with Tablet if you're at low health, because to get those hearts, like the one up on that platform up there, you would usually need Charge Jump or Fly, neither of which you get in the run. So it'd be... Uh, it's uh, really helpful to use a jump transform glitch there to get onto those platforms and grab that health. Especially since you're usually at a low level. I find what helps is uh, moving in your camera angle a bit. And uh, in general, like having a good camera angle uh, helps out with your jump transform glitch uh, consistency and timing. Because if you go in really close, Well, like really close like this time is gonna be different you might not get it but if you're like over here you also won't get it if you're too far away or not but uh yeah basically uh just experiment with it you know feel it out uh, but I think it's a really useful thing to learn and probably some of the biggest tech in this game, so that's why I wanted to make this video first.